Hello everyone. Today we are going to look upon the PPM calculation. So PPM is basically parts per million. So that low concentration that we are going to focus on. Uh, so the concentration unit will be our PPM. Okay, so let's see how you will prepare the standard SOC solutions of concentrations in PPMs and how you will come out with a very less concentration of something like one PPM. Okay, so let me tell you, let me give you an idea of how low a PPM is. Well, suppose if we consider that one PPM, so one PPM is equivalent to 1 mg per liter it is that low concentration that we are focusing on it is also equivalent to 1 mg per kg this is the low concentration that we will be focusing into okay so let's look into the formula part this is the formula part of the ppm okay so so as to make a solution of a ppm how much amount of solute will be required to achieve this concentration here we will look upon for example now you have to prepare a thousand ppm solution and uh, mass of solute you want how much mass of solute will be required so as to make this thousand ppm solution it is still undetermined so we will write it as unknown value x and then mass of solution it's something that uh, thousand ppm solution is uh, for example you need it in 100 ml please at stay focused on the units that i am just using right now okay in order to make 1000 ppm solution how much ml i will be how much ml uh, i want it to be so for example i want 1000 ppm solution of 100 ml okay so i am also writing here uh, the unit so as uh, you can just refer it well okay so here what I have covered is that 1000 ppm is the desired concentration, 100 ml is the one uh, desired volume out of 1000 ppm that you want to make. Okay, then how much amount of uh, drug or API is needed for uh, you to make the 1000 ppm solution in 100 ml volume is X. So this is a very brief idea that I have given you here. So if you calculate it, what you get is 0.1 grams. Okay, so 0.1, please pay attention to the units. 0.1 gram is equivalent to 100 mg. Okay, so this is the basic idea. So then uh, focusing on next, that is, uh, so here what you can say is 100 mg of the drug is needed. 100 mg of the drug is needed to make 1000 ppm solution, ppm solution, 1000 ppm solution for of, of 100 ml, something like this. So for example, this is your 100 ml of flask, 100 ml flask, okay. This is your 100 ml mark, okay. In this, you will take uh, 0.1 gram of your drug and add it to uh, your 100 ml. Then what you will get is, what you will label this flask as 1000 ppm solution. Clarified? Now, if you have been clarified with this concept, just press the like button if you have understood this concept. Now, let's look into the further dilutions that we will come up with. For example, we have your 1000 ppm solution and then you want to prepare more concentrations like 10, 20, um, 30, then 100. So, uh, let's look into the calculation part for further dilutions. So, for now, uh, just go through the flowchart that I will be drawing in front of you right now. And I will also will giving you the formula for the same. So as to just easy, so as to make you the concepts a little more easier, I'm giving you the flowchart. So for example, now you have taken a thousand ppm solution out of our previous calculation, then uh, pipetting it out uh, one ml, pipetting out one ml of the standard stock solution and making up the volume till 10 ml, that is your 100 ppm. Okay. 
then out of this 100 ppm if you pip it out 1 ml and then dilute further till 10 ml so that is your 10 ppm so out of this 100 ppm for example if you pip it out 10, 2 ml and dilute it to 10 ml what you get is 20 ppm and then for the 2.5 ml to 10 ml is your 25 ppm concentration so and and so forth so this is basically a very easy flow chart for you all okay how you will make a thousand ppm solution here i will also give you one more flow that is um, from 10 mg of drug diluted it to 10 ml is your 1000 ppm so this is a very basic flow chart now i will give you the now i will give you the formula for it so that is c1 v1 equals c2 v2 i will tell you how to apply this formula and how to come up with these values okay so uh, once i give you the formula just cross check through this flow chart that i have given you right here uh, with the formula that i will be giving you and substituting in front of you okay for example now we have 1000 ppm solution with us from the very first formula that we saw 1000 ppm solution with us so that uh, value we will be putting in this part that is the already that we have concentration will come in c1 v1 is the amount of volume that will be we will be pipetting out of the 1000 ppm solution so as to make our goal is goal is 100 ppm always go stepwise manner while dilutions in dilutions okay don't directly just go from 1000 to 1 just go stepwise okay now this is your 1000 ppm solution that you already have now this is the amount of uh, volume volume that will you will be pipetting out out of the 1000 ppm solution okay now c2 is the desired concentration that is your 100 ppm your goal is 100 ppm okay c2 is your desired concentration and v2 is something for that how much amount of 100 ppm you want so if you want it as only 10 ml kyunki aapka sirf ek hi reading se ya fir do hi reading se then go with this 10 ml now v2 is 10 ml now uh, let's look into the calculation part of this now the zeros get cancel up all the three zeros and what we end up with is 1 ml so 1 ml solution is needed to one so i'm writing here the conclusion pip it out pip it out uh, 1 ml solution 1 ml solution of 1000 ppm concentration 1000 ppm concentration to make 100 ppm solution of 100 ml am i clear if you understood this video please share this with your friends if they will be needing it too okay uh, and if you understood it till now very well uh, please subscribe to my channel i will be posting such videos very often that you will be needing for analytical calculations okay so if you have any doubts just let me know i'm ready to help you all in the comment section below Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you all.